Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create railings corner bend in Tecla structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we're going to create beam. So click on Steel and select this arrow under beam. Let's take poly beam and pick the first point, pick the second point at here and pick the third point at here. Press this core middle button to create the poly beam like this. Now right click on mouse interrupt. Now select this beam and double click on this corner point. Click on here. Let's take rounding. Now we're going to take a rounding radius 2 feet. Then click on modify to get curved bend like this. Now close this window. Okay, now we're going to create railings on this beam. Uh, before that we need to take reference points so click on edit and select this point and let's take at any position and pick the first point at here pick the second point at here and pick the third point at this location then right click on mouse interrupt now drag and select this point then right click on mouse copy special linear you can see in the global y direction click on clear in the global y direction we need to move two feet so let's take in the dy let's take two feet then click on copy okay right click on interrupt now we're going to move this point in global x direction so drag and select this point then right click on mouse move special linear click on clear in the global x direction let's take here two feet then click on move okay right click on mouse interrupt now we're going to create Railings, so we don't record this point, so remove it. Okay, now go to the application components by using the shortcut Control F, or you can click on here in search bar, type number 86. Now you will get this industrial pipe component number S86. So select this component and pick the first point at here, and pick the second point at here, and pick the object as a beam then press scroll mail button to create the railings just like this right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redirect you can see you will get like this okay similarly we are going to create here also click on this component and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here select the beam and press the scroll mail button to create the handrails like this then right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, read away. You can see, you'll get like this. How to edit this handrail, I have explained in my previous tutorial. Please go to my channel and watch it. You can see, by default, we don't have any connection at this location, but we have the connection at this location. Uh, to get the connection for this pipe, you need to edit this connection. So, click on here and Let's take number 68 component, type here 68, now you will get this component number 68, select this component, select this option, select object in component, then pick the main part as a beam and pick the secondary part as a pipe to create the connection and close this window, right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse reload. Still we don't have any connection at this location. So we need to edit this component to create the connection. So right click on mouse interrupt. Now double click on this component. Now we have the connection in the y direction, global y direction and right side. So you need to see the direction and the side of the connection. So select this component symbol. Then click on here. You can see right side in global y direction. You can see. Now you need to select this option. Right side plus y you can see in the y direction so click on load then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the connection like this you can see you can edit the bolts and the angle size and everything i have clearly explained in my previous video please go to my channel and watch it at this moment i'm going to take the number of bolts so go to the bolts tab and let's take the bolt size by default 
so let's take here number of was 2 and the spacing 3 and edge distance 1.5 then click on modify let's take here 2 inch then click on modify you'll get like this okay then click on modify apply okay now we're going to give the same connection uh, for the remaining vertical pipes so click on here and select this component and pick the main part as a beam and pick the secondary part as a pipe to create the connection like this okay do the same procedure for remaining pipes To create the connection like this now close this window right click on center click on switch right click on mouse you can see you'll get like this okay now we're going to create the corner band for these two pipes handrails so click on application components and in the search bar type number 90 you will get this corner band component number 90 so select this component and pick them make sure your selection should be select object and component and pick the main part as a, this one and pick the secondary part as a, this pipe to create the corner band like this okay right click mouse interrupt by default you will get the pipe profile same as this pipe and this pipe if not then double click on this pipe and check the profile you can see now we have the standard profile pipe one and of std if you want to apply the same profile to this one so double click on this pipe and go to the parts and click on here click on this circular halo section under pipe profile you can select from here pipe one and of std otherwise you can use the shortcut also for example double click on this pipe profile and you can directly select and copy it and close this window and double click on this component symbol go to parts and you can directly paste from here then click on modify apply okay to apply the same profile to this pipe okay now we're going to uh, create the corner band for this top handrails so you need to select this component corner band top select this component and pick the main part as a, this pipe and pick the second part as a, this pipe to create the corner band like this I'll come on center, click on space, right click on center. If you want to create the corner band for this plate, you need to create the poly beam. So close this window and go to the top view by using the shortcut Ctrl P. Like this. Now I'm going to create a corner band at here with the plate profile. So go to steel and select this, click on here and select the poly beam. Now before that, we need to create a construction line. So click on edit and let's take construction lines use the shortcut control 2 for transparent and zoom it pick the first point at here before that you need to activate this option snap to geometry lines or points then pick the first point use the shortcut shift to 2 and pick the first point you need to activate this option snap to nearest points and then pick the second point on this line to create the construction line like this similarly we're going to create a construction line at here so pick the first point at here and pick the second point on this line to create the construction line like this now we have the intersection point at this location so now we're going to create a poly beam so click on steel and select this beam under icon then select this option poly beam and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and pick the third point at this location then press this cone mirror button to create the poly beam right click on center by default we have the eye profile so double click on this profile now we're going to change this plate profile so before that now we're going to check this plate double click on this plate now we have the plate profile size here quarter thickness so and width uh, should be four inch so double click on this beam now i'm going to change this profile so click on here 
and minimize it and maximize the plate profile and let's take here and select this plate and let's take the thickness of the plate 1 by 4 inch and the width we're going to take here 4 inch then click on apply ok now we're going to change the color of this one class 13 then click on modify to see the result you can see now we need to change the depth of this plate so on plane let's take here right side then click on modify you can see you'll get this side so let's take left side then click on modify like this now close this window click on space and use the shortcut control p to get this view 3d view now we're going to move this plate top so select this plate right click on mouse move and zoom it and pick the corner point and zoom out and zoom it here pick this point to create the plate exactly like this right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse read away now we're going to create the curve radius at this corner so select this plate and double click on this point end point click on here let's take rounding and uh, radius we're going to take one feet then click on modify to see the result like this and close this window click on space right click on mouse delete review you can see now we have a plate corner bend also like this okay use the shortcut control 4 for render view and use the shortcut shift 4 for render view like this now we have dialing corner bend like this okay that's it about how to create railings corner bend in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you